only a few years ago, nobody would think that this patient underwent a keratoplasty procedure for his cornea guttata only two weeks ago. Now he can see 2020 uncorrected in the absence of any suture, and we know that decimate membrane endothelial keratoplasty can yield this kind of outcomes. However, technical difficulty and lack of standardization are still a major challenge for surgeons approaching this procedure. We have developed a method of preloading DMEC grafts at the eye bank in order to bypass most of the challenges faced by the surgeon in theater. First, the endothelium and decimate complex is peeled off from the donor tissue and laid to the side. Then, a dermatologic 3 mm tree fine is used to punch the bare stroma full thickness and the endothelium is placed back into position. The donor tissue is turned upside down with the endothelium facing downwards. The stromal plaque is removed and the decimatic side of the DMEC graft is marked in an asymmetric fashion. The donor tissue is placed back on the trephination block and the punch is used to cut the decimatic graft to the desired diameter. Minimal advancement of the blade into the tissue is required and this is obtained by simple tapping. The donor tissue in excess is removed and staining with trip and blue is repeated. Then the DMEC graft is trifolded with the endothelium inwards. This prevents possible damage to the endothelium from the contact with the cartridge wall. Most importantly, folding the tissue against its natural tendency to roll with the endothelium outwards makes it unfold spontaneously during delivery. To maintain the trifolded configuration, the graft is carried by means of a sterile soft contact lens onto the cartridge groove. Then, a dedicated forceps drags the graft into the cartridge funnel that was filled with BSS. The back of the funnel is sealed with a hollow silicon plug which allows circulation of the preservation media. The front exit of the funnel is also sealed, but with a solid blue plug that prevents the tissue from escaping. In surgery, the tissue is removed from the preservation media and the handle is mounted to allow surgical manipulation. The tip of the handle also seals the funnel posteriorly to prevent the tissue from being pushed out through the plug during delivery. Then the blue front plug is removed and the preloaded tissue is ready for delivery. The asymmetric mark identifies the correct orientation of the tissue and is used as a reference for grasping it. For sutureless DMEC, we deliver the preloaded tissue through a scleral tunnel under minimal irrigation from a dedicated anterior chamber maintainer with a side port. The tissue is grasped at its edge with a dedicated forceps and is then slowly pulled out of the cartridge, which is finally removed from the anterior chamber. While holding the graft with the forceps, unfolding takes place spontaneously and minimal tapping on the cornea is required to complete the maneuver. The graft is centered, acting on the recipient cornea from outside. Finally, air is injected to attach it to the posterior corneal surface in the right position. As early as four days postoperatively, the cornea is perfectly transparent in the absence of air in the anterior chamber. Two weeks after DMEC, vision is 2020 without correction. We have used preloaded grafts to perform DMEC in 10 eyes with cornea guttata. In seven cases, DMEC was combined with FAC emulsification and implantation of a posterior chamber IOL in the capsular bag. The sutureless technique was employed for all surgeries. 
DMEC was performed uneventfully with the surgical time minimized below 20 minutes in all cases. Postoperatively, graft detachment occurred in two cases and was managed successfully by air refilling of the anterior chamber. Three months after DMEC, 9 of 10 patients could see 2025 or better and endothelial cell loss was below 20% in 8 of 10 eyes. Our preliminary results do not show any detrimental effect of preloading onto DMEC donor tissue. Preloading is instrumental in minimizing the surgical time and standardizing the technique, thus contributing substantially to the increasing popularity of DMEC among keratoplasty surgeons.